Welcome to this video of Daily Current Affairs. Today is the 26th of July 2019 and this is episode number 363rd. These are our channels Pinnacle and Frontier IES. If you have not subscribed to them then please do subscribe. Click on the bell icon to subscribe to the channel. These are our websites sscjlpinnacle.com and baljeetdhaka.com. Now here is the previous quiz. The first question who has been appointed as the next vice chief of army staff? Answer is Lieutenant General Manoj Mukund Narwane. Next question. LIC has agreed to offer 1.25 trillion line of credit by 2024 to fund which project? And the answer here is Bharat Mala project. These were the two questions of the previous quiz and here we are on the first question. What is India's rank in Global Innovation Index? 2019. This is the first question. Answer for this is going to be 52nd. Answer here is B. India improved its rank in Global Innovation Index to 52nd in 2019, making a significant jump of 5 places in a year. Last year, 57th position. In 2018, what was India's position? 57th. Switzerland retained its number one spot on the index. The GII 2019 was released by Commerce and Industry Minister Piyush Goyal in New Delhi. This is for the first time that the GII was launched as an emerging economy. And what is the theme this year? Creating healthy lives, the future of medical innovation, which aims to explore the role of medical innovation as it shapes the future of healthcare. That was the first question. Let me show you a picture related to this. See here you can see the picture. Okay. Recently, let me do a revision question with you. What was India's rank in the Global Peace Index 2019? India's rank there was 141st. That was the rank of India. Now let me give you some important information that these days our monsoon dhamaka offer is going on. We are offering a 50% discount on all the products on all the test series for SSC, CGL, HSSC, RRB and TPC and this is a limited period offer. This is going to be a limited period offer. For more information you can call on these two numbers which are given over here or you can even send a whatsapp on this number. This is our website which I have already told you sscjlpinnacle.com. We design courses exclusively in the English medium. For those who want courses exclusively in English without a word in Hindi, just the way this video has been made. And now, here we are on the next question. The question is who will take over as Home Secretary from incumbent Rajiv Guba? Okay, that's the question here. Okay, Rajiv Goba, that's the question. Who will take over as Home Secretary from incumbent Rajiv Goba? Now here what's going to be my answer? Ajay Kumar Bhalla. Okay, that's the answer. Answer here is going to be Ajay Kumar Bhalla. Ajay Kumar Bhalla, he will take over as Home Secretary from incumbent Rajiv Goba. He has been appointed officer on special duty to the Ministry of Home Affairs with immediate effect. Mr. Bhalla will have a fixed two-year tenure as Union Home Ministry till August 2021. Okay. That's the information. Question number two. Here is his picture. Ajay Kumar Bhalla. Let's do some additional information. Some other important secretaries appointed. Subhash Chandra Garg is Secretary Power Ministry. Economic Affairs Secretary is Atanu Chakraborty. Anshu Prakash is for Telecommunications. R. S. Shukla for Parliamentary Affairs. And Rajiv Kapoor for Textiles Secretary. Next question. Who has become... Britain's first Indian origin home secretary. Okay, question number three. Answer here is D. Preeti Patel is my right answer. D is the right answer. Preeti Patel, who is an ardent Brexiteer, who has become the most vocal critic of Theresa May's Brexit strategy, took charge as Britain's first Indian origin home secretary. A long standing okay, Eurosceptic Preeti Patel had steered the vote leave campaign. In the lead up to the June 2016 referendum in favor of Britain's exit from the European Union. Now let me show you her picture. This is a picture of Preeti Patel. That's a picture. Okay. And in my recent videos, I had told you who is the new Prime Minister of UK. Kindly let me know who is the new Prime Minister of United Kingdom. Let me know that 
in the comment section. Also tell me the name of the new Chief Minister of Karnataka and the name of the outgoing Chief Minister of Karnataka who recently resigned and recently who came to power. I want both their names. Next question is here. Who wrote the book Chandra Shekhar, the last icon of ideological politics? This is question number four here. Okay. Question number four. What is going to be my answer over here? Okay. Here take a look at the options and the answer here is going to be both B and C. So what is my answer? My answer here is going to be D. Question number four. My answer is D. D is the right answer. Okay. Now here D is the right answer. The book titled Chandrasekhar, the last icon of ideological politics is written by deputy chairman in the Rajya Sabha Hari Vansh and Ravi Dutt Bajpai. PM Modi has released this book. Let me show you a picture. See here you can see the picture. The Prime Minister, he has released the book. Chandrasekhar was known for being a formidable opponent of Indira Gandhi's politics and policies. While he served as the Prime Minister for a small period of seven months only, he won the nomination to the Congress Working Committee prize despite stiff opposition from Indira Gandhi. That's the information about this question. Okay. Now recently I had done some more books with you. Let's quickly recap that. A Prime Minister to Remember was written by Admiral Sushil Kumar. Indo-Pak Relations Beyond Pulwama and Balakot by Dr. U. V. Singh. War Over Words, the Censorship in India, 1930 to 1960 by Devika Sethi. Who has been appointed as the new head coach of the Indian table tennis team? This is question number six. What is going to be the answer here for this question? My answer here is going to be Dejan Papik. Dejan Papik is going to be my answer. Answer here is going to be C. Now Dejan Papik joined as the head coach of the Indian table tennis team after signing a one-year contract that will see him in charge through the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. The Indian paddlers haven't had a head coach since the Asian Games last year. So what is going to be my answer? Answer here is going to be question number 6. Answer here is going to be C. C is my right answer. Recently, some new coaches have been appointed. Like for example, for the Indian men hockey team, we have Graham Reed. For volleyball team, Dragon Mikhailif. And for football team, Iger Stickmack. Okay, question number 6. Now let me take you to the next question. Here we are on the next question. In the next question here, you have been asked, who has been assigned the monetary policy portfolio by RBI? This is question number six and answer here is going to be BP Kanungo. Okay, BP Kanungo is my answer. Answer here is going to be for six B. Reserve Bank of India RBI has signed Deputy Governor BP Kanungo to run the monetary policy portfolio after the resignation of fellow Deputy Governor Viral V. Acharya. Viral Acharya has quit his role as Deputy Governor on June 2019. Answer question number 6 is B. Now who is the Governor of RBI? Uh, the Governor of RBI is Shanti Kanta Das. Deputy Governors are N.S. Vishwanathan, B.P. Kanungo and M.K. Jain. And where are the headquarters of RBI? They are in Mumbai. Okay, they are in Mumbai. Let me show you a picture. See here, you can see the picture of B.P. Kanungo. Okay, next question. Which state has banned single-use plastic items to make the state plastic-free by 2022? Question number seven. Answer here is going to be Goa. Goa is going to be the right answer. C is my right answer. Goa Tourism Development Corporation recently announced the ban of single-use plastic items such as plastic glasses, bottle cups, etc. from its hotels and headquarters on an immediate basis. The target is to make the state plastic-free and they want to make it plastic-free by the year 2022. That's the information about this question. Besides Tanzania, Tanzania had also elected to uh, make a ban on plastic bags. Tanzania was the country. I had done that with you in my videos. And then Goa has also recently allowed deployment of women in night shifts in industries. Question number seven. My answer here is Goa. Where exactly is Goa? This is the small state of Goa that you see here. What is the capital here? The capital here is Panji. Chief Minister is Pramod Savant. 
governor is mridula sena in the legislature there are 40 seats and in the parliamentary constituencies just two seats next question who represented india at the nam ministerial meeting in venezuela this is question number 8 answer here is going to be sayed akbaruddin sayed akbaruddin is going to be my answer question number 8 my answer here is going to be b b is the right answer india was represented by indian envoy to united nations sayed akbaruddin at the 2019 non aligned movement ministerial meeting where was it held it was held in venezuela nam was established in belgrade in 1961 and was a joint initiative of former indian prime minister jawahar lal nehru and yugoslav president josip boros tito okay let me show you where exactly is venezuela now okay now before that let's see the picture okay here is you can see the picture caucus venezuela etc written here and india was represented by whom india was represented by sayed akbaru din now where is venezuela see this is south america in south america this is venezuela okay what is this this is venezuela the name of the country is venezuela capital here is caracas and venezuelan bolivar and sovereign bolivia they are the currencies here next question which state government has decided to bring a legislation to ensure journalists job security this is my question and answer here is west bengal west bengal has decided to do this the west bengal government has decided to bring legislation in the assembly for ensuring the job security of journalists in the state minister mamta banerji said that the legislation aims at social security of journalists she also announced sanctioning of land for housing complex of journalists and the chief minister handed over pension papers to the journalists instituted by the state government and felicitated senior workers at the club okay where exactly is west bengal this is the state of west bengal and kindly note that very very recently just on the 24th of july 2019 that is just two days ago even west bengal has got a new governor and what is his name his name is jagdeep dhankar please remember west bengal new governor who is appointed as the new governor in west bengal jagdeep dhankar recently west bengal had also observed save water day on the 12th of july now what are the national parks in west bengal baksa national park gorumura national park neora valley national park singalila national park and sundarban national parks where are all these located they are all located in west bengal okay let me take you to the next question now here in the next question you have been asked which country will host fifa under 20 women world cup 2020 this is question number 10 for question number 10 my answer here is going to be nigeria nigeria will be my right answer answer here is going to be b federation of international football federation has awarded fifa under 20 women world cup 2020 hosting rights to nigeria after 10 years it's an international association football tournament organized by fifa for national teams of women under the age of 20 france had hosted the 2018 fifa under 20 women's world cup where japan had emerged as the champion now let me show you where exactly is nigeria nigeria is located in africa here is nigeria okay capital is abuja and currency is nigerian naira that's the currency these were the 10 questions to be done today okay now let me show you the summary keywords now here are the summary keywords global innovation index 2019 what was the rank of india 52nd new home secretary is ajay kumar bhalla britain's first indian origin home secretary preeti patel Chandrasekhar the last icon of ideological politics this is a book written by Hari Vansh and Ravi Dutt new head coach for table tennis team in india is going to be Dejan Papik RBI monetary policy has appointed BP Kanungo ban single use of plastic items which state has decided to ban single use plastic items Goa non aligned movement ministerial meeting 
हु रिप्रेजेंटेड इंडिया साइद अकबर उद्दीन जर्नलिस्ट जॉब सिक्योरिटी ओके दिस बिल इज गोइंग टू बी पास इन वेस्ट बेंगाल वेस्ट बेंगाल हेज टेकन इनिशियटिव इन दिस एंड नाउ इन द कमेंट सेक्शन गिव मी द नेम ऑफ द न्यू गवर्नर ऑफ वेस्ट बेंगाल इवन इन द समरी की वर्ड्स आई एम सो फॉन्ड ऑफ आस्किंग यू क्वेश्चन सो दैट यू रिवाइज क्विकली फीफा अंडर ट्वेंटी वेमेन्स वर्ल्ड कप ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी इज गोइंग टू बी हेल्ड इन नाइजीरिया दीज वर आर समरी की वर्ड्स डियर क्लास एंड नव वी आर ऑन द क्विज फॉर द डे फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन हु हैज बिकम in britain's first indian origin home secretary what is india's rank in global innovation index 2019 these are the two questions that i want you to answer answer them in the comment section share the video as much as possible on your facebook group whatsapp group etc and yes do subscribe to the channel click on the bell icon click on the subscribe button here are our websites you can visit them too i wish you all the best and do take the maximum advantage of the dhamaka the monsoon dhamaka offer that we are offering these days all the best bye bye